Hello guys, welcome to another installment of CH32 Duino for WCA chips. In today's uh, episode, we're going to be looking at CH32X035. Now, the CH32X035 is a general purpose MCU which has built in USB, PD, and PHY. It also supports USB host and USB device and also offers a bunch of other peripherals. Now, we have made an, inst uh, an Arduino instance of this chip and in order for you to install it uh, and in order for you to try and run Arduino code on it, you have to update the board manager for CH32 MCU EVT boards in Arduino. In order to do this, the first thing you have to do is you need to go to your board manager and check the version you have and you must update to version 1.0.1 that is the one that includes the new edition if you don't already have Arduino installed then you can check uh, our previous video video number 12 uh, which shows you how to set up Arduino and some basic uh, frequently asked questions and problem solving solutions so before i begin the main reason for this episode which is usb pd or usb power devices the first thing i want to do is we're going to run some basic tests to double check the functionality of the ch32 x035 with arduino and in order to do that i've included a simple sample program that will be used to test GPIO input, output, and also ADC. Now, to test this system, uh, we simply require two simple devices, uh, a button and, uh, and, and a motor for allowing change in input voltage. Now, uh, to do this, uh, I'm going to show you in the video below, in the next video. Hello guys, so this is the setup to test the functions of the chip that we are going to be using, in particular the ADC and the GPIO. In order to test this, we are going to be using two devices, a switch which we shall use and we shall turn on and off, and then also a motor to control the output voltage, or in this case the input voltage to the device. So these are the tools we will use to test the function. And then for the USB PD, we're going to test it by connecting the device to a 65 watt uh, power supply. And then we're going to be measuring the final output on our digital multimeter. Now I'm going to explain some of the basic uh, control flow of testing out these two functions. Now. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is you are going to use the WCH link and the CH32X035 board and once they are connected you can then uh, flash the program in Arduino. Now this code is pretty simple. It initializes an ADC pin and an LED pin and then also in a key input pin. So the LED pin is an output pin it drives the led the key input receives data uh, in this case detects whether the button has been pressed or not and then the adc is controlled by the motor and it uh, to, to measure the analog voltage now that we are done with testing out some basic functionality the next step is we're going to test usb pd on ch32x 035 board to do this first thing make sure that you have updated your board manager for wch to version 1.01 which is the latest version as of now and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select other board and port and make sure you select the ch32x 035 as you can see in this video i am now selecting ch32x 035 once you've selected CH32X035, the next step is to now 
go to examples and at the very bottom you will find USB PD sync request voltage. Now the control flow of this now the control flow of this one's are verified is simple. We can manipulate uh, our output to give us different voltage ranges. And these voltage steps they are standard with USB PD voltage levels. That is in our case uh, So now uh, when you're testing, we can change to five different levels for our USB PD, which is uh, 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, and 20 volts. Okay guys, so this is the simple program for testing the GPIO and ADC function. Now uh, make sure to have selected the right board, which is the CH32X035. And if you go into board manager and search uh, WCH, make sure you have the proper version, which is version 1.0.1, .1, because it's the one that contains this new edition. And then make sure when you select board and uh, COM port, make sure to select CH32X035. Okay, now uh, if we run this program, Okay, we can see from the serial monitor that the key input is 1 because we haven't pressed anything yet. So to test out the GPIO input, uh, we can press the key and we should see the input change to 0. And the next, uh, as you can see, once I release the key, it goes back to 1 and then when I press it, it goes back to 0. So the next phase is now changing the ADC value, which in this current phase is 2,780. So by changing the, by twisting the motor, we can essentially shift the ADC power and we can turn it all the way from zero to 4,096. okay so that is the first so that is the part of the testing out the gpio and adc value functions the next step i'm going to show you is how to uh, implement usb pd you want to go to file examples and you want to go to usb pd sync and then this will open up a new workspace in arduino ide and then once that workspace has opened up you will be able to once again flash and download the program okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, upload and flash this uh, usb pd program Okay, now that it's done uploading, uh, we are now going to see from the next video how to implement, the, how we implemented the USB PD uh, function. Okay guys, in order to implement the USB PD function, this is our board and we have connected it to a 65 watt charger. And then we're going to implement uh, USB PD over here in order to determine uh, the output voltage for our voltmeter. So upon okay, so upon turning it on, we are at the default of five volts. Now this is the default value, and then when we press uh, the button. 
we jump to 9 and then when we press again to 12 to 15 and to the maximum of 20 so every time we press this button the voltage changes and uh, this is all being delivered by uh, and this is all being controlled by our MCU here through USB PD and we can reach a maximum of 20 volts that will be all for today if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section below we will be more than happy to reply and to help you out and if you need any extra information please don't hesitate to contact and reach us thank you